Ah. I have everything now. I've got crumpets, gingerbread cookies, scones. Hey, excuse me, sir, but aren't you going to an awful lot of trouble for a British sub-lieutenant? After all, sir, that's as low as an ensign in our Navy. Don't you think I know that, you boob? <laughs> it so happens that this particular British sub-lieutenant is the first cousin of Admiral Cliveden Summers. Now I get it, sir. And if you can make a good impression on his cousin, then Comfleet will find out about it, and then you're <laughs> very smart. <laughs> yes, well, so. Now let me see, where was I? Uh, Watercress sandwiches. Mm -hmm. Hi, got me some for us? Kale, don't you ever... <laughs> Stop knocking when I'm talking to you. <laughs> yes, they invite us to a tea party. Hey. Don't put that darn you dunce. The thing I'd invite you to is a glass of hemlock on the rocks. <laughs> Mikhail, yes, sir. any minute, Sub-Lieutenant Cliveden is due here. He is the first cousin of Admiral Cliveden Summers of His Majesty's fleet. He is coming here for temporary duty. Well, if, uh, if there's any way we can help, sir, we'll be around. <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. No, you will not be around. That's just it. You and your bunch of cutthroats are too uncouth for such a refined British officer and gentleman. <laughs> So you are barred from this base until further notice, and that's an order. <laughs> well, if that's the way you want it, sir, come on, Chuck. But, sir, I think you're making a mistake. After all, I'm an expert on etiquette. Why, back at dancing school, whenever we had a tea party, we'd sing school. Give me my... Oh! Oh! Well, now, see, that's what I mean, sir. You never corp yourself first. You see, in the crack... <laughs> in here like that? What are your manners? But, sir, sir, he's coming up the steps now. Sir, it's Sub-Lieutenant Cliveden. All right, just stand back and learn, you clods. It's about to see a man schooled in dignity and grace. Come in. Sub-Lieutenant Cliveden reporting for duty, sir. Uh -huh. Welcome to Terra Tupa, Lieutenant. Oh, thank you, sir. Oh, pardon me. Oh, here, I'll get that. Oh. Let's <laughs> Oh, that's quite all right, boy. It's quite all right. Accidents do happen, you know. Uh, Carpenter, you. Uh, uh, get, uh, get. Well, oh, I got it, sir. Good, good. How about a little spot of tea, Lieutenant? It's about that time. Oh, thank you, sir. That won't hit the mark. Yes. <laughs> uh, I say, uh, rather clumsy of me, what? No, oh, no, no, that's quite all right, Lieutenant. I mean, uh, it was a silly place to leave the tea cart right in the middle of the room. <laughs> In plain sight. <laughs> my service record, son. I'd best go and fetch my gear before I cause any more trouble. No trouble? Oh, no, 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 Lieutenant. No Thanks. trouble at all. Thank you. No. No. That was my best china. What kind of a dumbbell did they send me? Why, he's a bigger klutz than Ensign Parker. <laughs> What does the service record look like? It's right here, sir. Heaven's sakes, it's the most unnerving thing. Well, he's certainly been on a lot of bases. He... Well, no wonder. He's practically a one-man demolition squad. He's practically destroyed every base he's been on. Oh, no, sir. Sir, sir, I'm sorry, but, but you're wrong. It says right here, he's a hero. He was personally responsible for the sinking of three boats or a hero. Oh, pinhead, the three boats that he sunk were three boats that he was assigned to. Better get rid of him before he sinks one of our sir. Right. I'm going to call Tom Bleak. I'm... Wait a minute, Carpenter. Wait a minute. That man wasn't sent from England. He came direct from heaven. Ready for assignment, sir. 
your priceless ship's clock and... Oh, uh, well, uh, I'm dreadfully sorry, sir. Yeah, well, uh, fish touch, Lieutenant, fish touch. I mean, uh, uh, priceless ship's clocks are a dime a dozen, but men like you, you're... Uh, and worth your weight in gold, boy. <laughs> Captain, sir, I'll think the... nothing of it. You come from such a long line of distinguished naval officers that you probably just don't have your, your land legs. I'm sure you'll feel right at home again just as soon as you're back on a boat. You mean... You mean you're going to put me on sea duty, sir? Oh, yes, my boy, yes. As of now, you can consider yourself assigned to the PT-73. Oh, thank you, sir. And don't worry about me, sir. I won't let you down. I'll give it a good bash. Yes, you do that. In fact, I'm counting on it. Oh, my. But, sir, I thought you said you didn't want him uh, associating with uncultured rowdies like us. Yes, well, on second thought, Mikhail, I thought that perhaps some of Cliveden's uh, outstanding qualities might have an effect on you. A uh, <laughs> permanent effect. <laughs> sir. Yes, sir, uh, Lieutenant Cliveden is stowing his gear in his hut. Oh, good, good, good. Now, uh, Mikhail, uh, for your information, Lieutenant Cliveden is personally responsible for the sinking of three boats. <laughs> now, I would like to see you make that four. You read me? Uh, yes, sir. All right, let's shove off for the main base, Elroy. Yes, bye-bye, Captain. Goodbye, Miguel. Goodbye. All right, cast off that line. Oh, sure, I'll get that. Oh, get it. 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 I'll kill you one of these days. I swear I'll kill you. Oh, what's the use? Let Clyde and take care of it. Better skip. How come we're stuck with a crumpet snatcher? Who needs it? Yeah, we're doing all right. Oh, boy. I felt all the lead, but I'm never leave. Hey, Fooch, you better head for the hills, boy. We got a British officer over here on temporary duty. Oh, so? Since when Limey is more important than hard-working PW? Move, move, move. Come on. <laughs> Dry your name. Don't argue. We can get out of here. Poor food. What a rough deal. Who needs this British creep? Yeah. Never mind. Never mind. This guy happens to be the first cousin of Admiral Cliveden Summers. So mind your manners. Oh, yeah, yeah, no yeah, not only that, but he sunk three boats, single-handed. It should be a big help during business hours. So oh, yeah. take uh, it easy. man. He must be a big you know, <laughs> Sub Lieutenant Cedric Cliveden reporting for duty, sir. How oh, hi. Hi. Hey, <laughs> uh, glad, glad to have you aboard. <laughs> uh, Mr. Parker here will show you around the boat before we go out and patrol. Oh, jolly good. Uh, right, Skip. Uh, <clears throat> follow me this way, Cedric Old Talk. Uh, we'll have a turn around the ruddy deck. <laughs> yeah. uh, I think you find that she's a ripping y'all, crashing crew, all that sort of rot. <laughs> right. Joe Benson, the way you talk. Have you ever lived in England? England? <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> Uh, but I saw Yank at Oxford 11 times. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> I think you'll find that this is the, uh, gang plank, or as you say in England, the mob timber. <laughs> mob timber? Don't believe I ever heard it called that before. You, you never have, huh? <clears throat> oh, well, you stick with me and you'll pick up on all this British slang. <laughs> <laughs> well, after you. Yes, thank you. Careful now, because want to... <laughs> You gotta be careful. Rather clumsy of me, old chap. Yes. Well, don't worry, old timer. Couldn't have done it without me, you know. Can we have another go at it. All right, jolly chap. Will you look at those two? Boy, and I thought Bordeville was dead. That guy makes Mr. Parker look like Fred Astaire. Oh, yeah. Huh? Uh... <laughs> yeah, all uh, right. Uh, look, uh, why don't you let me go first, huh? Yes. You just follow me. Very yeah, good. All right. Hey, enemy plane coming in at 3 o'clock. All right, come on, boys. Little party. Let's go. Move the door and open up. All right, come on. Open fire. Let's go. Where would you like to place me, sir? Climbed in on this boat. We fight my face style. Grab a gun. Start shooting. <laughs> All right. 
All right, Clive, then what do you got to say for yourself? Now, don't be too rough on him, Skip. After all, you're talking to a man who sunk three nip boats. Nip boats? Good Lord, no. The three boats I sunk were the ones I was assigned to. <laughs> you mean boats on our side? Cedric, I'm beginning to worry about you. And now I get it. That's why Binghamton assigned you to our boat. That's right, sir. He offered me one last chance as a favor to my cousin Clive. Well, I suppose that jolly well ruins my Navy career, what? That's all lead bottom for you. Yeah, they tried to sink us. We ought to tell him off. Wait a minute. Nobody's going to tell anybody what happened here. What? You mean you won't send us back in front of the house? I'll be right back, Skip. Wait for me. Hey, Skip, have you flipped? Mr. Parker's bad enough with this British bazooka aboard. We're lucky we lived through tea time. Uh, well, well, the poor guy was only trying to help out. Maybe we put him in a nice, safe place. We could shape him up. How about London? That's a nice, safe place. <laughs> Here, let me help you up. <laughs> Easy does it, Lieutenant. Uh, now, look, uh, we need a top man to kind of stay behind here and guard our island against enemy infiltration. Uh, it's a vital job, Cedric, so uh, what do you say, huh? Oh, thank you, sir. I won't let you down, I promise. Oh, you've made me so happy, sir. I... <laughs> Japanese. Now, no more. I've got your cover, you see. According to the International Convention of War, I hereby declare that... <laughs> you are my prisoner. Sir, Captain Bateson. Don't just stand there panting. Quick, any news of 73? Well, sir, Lieutenant Cliveton is here. Cliveton, and he was... well, he's back so soon. I hope, send him in. Send yes, sir, him. well, what I wanted to tell you, sir... Oh, Paul, Paul, Yes, sir. Oh, Lieutenant, please. <laughs> Captain Binghamton, sir. What? Cliveton? Well, you look awful, boy. Tell you, it must have been terrible. Hey, tell me, uh, where did the boat go down? The boat, sir? Oh, don't feel badly about sinking the 73. I mean, after all, this is wartime. you got to expect this. Oh, but, sir, I didn't sink the 73. I didn't even go out on patrol. You didn't? You see, while I was capturing this myth... Oh, 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 Did you say capturing a nip? Oh, yes, sir. You see, sir, that's what I was trying to tell you. To bring in the prisoner. Well, this is enough. Would you look at this sniveling little rat quaking in his boots? Ah! Oh, would you look at that? They try to strike an American. Oh, there's nothing they won't stoop to. That's your dry on a mill, it's dangerous. Oh, this is brilliant, Clashman. This is absolutely brilliant. Oh, I, I wouldn't say that, sir. <laughs> I would. It was brilliant of me to assign you to McHale's Island. Elroy, prepare a message for Conflict, uh, telling them of my courageous capture of this ferocious nip. Ah, oh, but sir, uh, uh, and I don't forget to mention Lieutenant Cliven's name. Yes, sir. Thank you very much, sir. All right, Cliven. There's one thing you'll find out about me: I never hog the spotlight. I'm sure your cousin, the Admiral, will be very happy to hear how you helped me. Oh, I certainly hope so, sir. And I can't wait to see Commander McHale's face when I tell him the good news. Mm. Tell me you didn't, Clive. Please, tell me you didn't. <laughs> I'm terribly sorry, sir, but nobody told me. I mean, how was I to know Fuji was one of your group? Oh, dear. Fouled it up again, haven't I, chaps? That's no, not your fault, Cedric. Those Japanese dog tags could have fooled anybody. <laughs> That's okay. You were just doing your duty. How are they going to get Fuji back before old Leadbottom turns him into sukiyaki? Hold on. Hold on. I've got a ripping idea. Suppose I contact my cousin, Admiral Cliveden Summers, and tell him what happened, and have him explain to the captain what her dear friend Fuji is to all of us. Hey, you know, he may have something there. Yeah. 
a firing squad, and seven blindfolds. No, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Hey, it might just work. Admiral Cliveden Summers. It might just work. I don't get it. Well, had you will, old chap, you will. Gather round, boys. <laughs> now, look, here's what we're going to do. All right, how you better talk. You talk. You don't scare me. I know you're kind. Come on. Oh, shoot. Hey, oh, thank you very much. Oh, hey, easy, 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 does it, sir? Uh, I found out that you captured a nip on our island, sir. Uh, and, uh, it's true. He <laughs> sure looks tough, sir. Looks tough, Mikhail. Why, he's a killer. No. Hey, Captain Binghamton, sir, there's someone here to see you. Well, get rid of him. Can't you see I'm busy? But, sir, it's Admiral Cliveden Summers of His Majesty's Fleet, sir. Admiral who? Cliveden Summers, sir. I'll send him right in. Yeah, yeah, that's what I came over to tell you about, sir. You see, uh, uh, Lieutenant Cliveden sent a message to the Admiral telling him all about the nip he captured. Oh, he did, did he? <laughs> Ten, hut! <laughs> Admiral, Captain Binghamton at your service, sir. So nice to have you here. No time for your rowdy speeches now. Cedric uh, had telegrammed me that he'd captured a nip. Oh, yes, yes, he did, Admiral. That's true. I mean, I mean we did, Admiral. We did. There he is. Now, be careful. He's a sneaky little devil. And he's a killer, Admiral. Fine. Let him get it. I'll take over here. Now, let's have a look. Yeah. I don't believe it. Percy. Yes, you see that, Admiral? I... Percy. Admiral. Did you just call this nip Percy? Shh. It's only his code name. His real name. <coughs> his real name is pretty secret agent XJ2. Oh, XJ1. Did you hear me say shh? I just say shh to him. Quiet. His fellow intelligence officers don't know his real name. Why, he's the Mata Hari of the South Pacific. Oh, no, Amanda Hari was a woman. <coughs> she is, yep. Yeah. Yes, yeah. well, uh. <coughs> She was. Well, yes, of course, we all know that. We know that. But that's part of the secret, don't you see? He's marvelous at disguises. Simply marvelous. What's that? Tully Ho, old Bing. Hip, hip. Oh! oh pretty sure, right? Oh, now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What is it with this pip, pip? He's a nip. I know it's just made in Japan on him someplace. Don't touch him. No, no. <clears throat> that, that's part of the secret. Why, why he's as British as Irish linen. Yes, one who is paid to well, yes, made a fortune and used tea bags. Uh, right, old dog? Oh, rather. Uh, uh, Admiral, sir, are you suggesting that uh, Captain Binghamton has captured one of your top intelligence agents? You jolly well know I am. <clears throat> well, this is treason. I'll have you hung. <laughs> yes, from the highest chutney. <laughs> yes, yes, good sir. Uh, uh, Admiral, Admiral. Sorry, Captain, this is war. Oh, Mikhail, you got to do something to save your poor old your commander. Oh, now, what can I do? You run around telling everybody you captured, well, you know who, and well, you've ruined our allies' number one spy. Oh, no, 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 I haven't told a soul. Oh, you scoundrel, you told the whole world. You did, you did, you did. He told you. I heard it. No, no, you can believe me. Nobody knows but us. Not even Calm Fleet. Oh, no, no, no. This is the message that I was going to send Calm Fleet. There, look at that. I made it all gone. Hey, that is ripping. Yes. Ripping. Oh. <laughs> hey, I get off a good one now and again, don't I? <laughs> Destroy the evidence. Oh. <laughs> what do you think, sir? Uh, since no one else knows, we can sneak Percy back behind the nip lines and nobody can be any the wiser. You may have something there. <clears throat> Say, Tessie. Say, Percy, bashed you about a bit, haven't they? Lost your monocle. Lucky well, okay, I have another one. Ripping, blooming, ruddy, old Admiral's son. <laughs> Admiral's son. <laughs> He's been away so long. Yes. <laughs> We'd best be on our way, Admiral. Hey, come along, Percy. Right ho. I say, old Bean, which way to Mandalay? Oh, it's. Uh... <laughs> understand, Admiral, this whole thing has been a dreadful mistake. Uh, well, we better be shoving off now, Captain. You better get below there, XJ2. Shh. No knives, please. Oi, Percy. You know? Yes, I do. <laughs> Don't you forget. Slip the lip and I'll have you hauled through Trafalgar Square by your scuppers. Uh, well, no, no, don't worry about the captain. He, he'll be quiet. <laughs> yes, I don't know. You can't trust these ruddy colonials, you know. Look at Ben Dark. No, 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 Admiral. Believe me, I wouldn't say anything for all the tea in China. Yeah, no. That's another thing. The Boston Tea Party. Ow! <laughs> Good grief. It's my cousin, 
Admiral Clive and Summers. Hi ho, and sayonara. Ah, uh, well, we'd better be shoving off now, sir. Yes. Bye bye. A practically good idea. Yes. Just a minute, gentlemen. <clears throat> Could you tell me where I could find Captain Binghamton? Uh, I'm Captain Binghamton, sir. Oh, good. I'm Admiral Cliveton Summers, and I was hoping that you might find... Oh, hello, Cedric. Now, oh, wait a minute. You can't be Admiral Cliveton Summers. He's Admiral Cliveton Summers. Yes. Uh, well, tell you who, pip pip and all that rot. Yeah, well, excuse us, Admiral. We'll be shoving off now. <laughs> what the deuce is going on here? Harry! Hey, Harry, Cole, man, it's at 10 o'clock! Hi, Joe, it's Sneaky Samuel. Hey, Harry, Charlie, everybody at the All right, come on, Randall's going to fight. We're sitting ducks here. May I be of help? Yeah, just stay out of the way. We got all the trouble we can handle now. All right, let him have it, chaps. I mean, guys. say that that was the most unusual way of downing a dip zero that I've ever seen. Uh, yes, sir. It sure was, sir. Yes, sir. And the lieutenant that gets all the credit, sir. Uh, he, he, uh, he thought it the whole maneuver. Uh, yes. Why, as a fighting man, Cedric is simply top drawer. Yes. <laughs> Admiral, it's time we got to the bottom of this and find out just who this fake Admiral is. I mean, ow. <laughs> After all, it can't be two of you with the same name. Admiral, sir, I can explain. No explanation is necessary, Cedric. I've always wanted to meet the other Admiral in the family. Very nice indeed to meet you, Reggie. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. Here's why a, a jolly by joke here. Here. But, 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 but... Will you stop yammering, Binghamton? You ought to be back in your office writing up commendations for every one of these brave lads. Captain, did you hear the Admiral? <laughs> yes. Well, what are you doing lollygagging around here, you clod? Why, uh, Sally Forth on the quadruple. Yes. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> bye, bye, bye. Sure. Move, move uh, forth. Bye. 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 Slow man. Uh, remind me to put that bounder on report. Why, he's the only rotten egg in the whole blooming wicket. Oh, you can drop that dreadful accent now, young man. The captain's gone. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, now I see. Well, uh, uh, I think I'm in big trouble. <laughs> ah, but, uh, hang on, Chuck. Hang on. Uh, Admiral, I don't know how we'll ever be able to thank you for getting us off the hook, but we sure are grateful, sir. Well, I'm not half as grateful as I am. After all, getting you out of a bit of a jam was the very least I could do. Uh, After all, you've made a man out of Cedric. And for that, you have my thanks. And as for you, Cedric, I think it's about time that we moved you to a new assignment. Oh, wonderful, sir. Is it a destroyer? Or perhaps a carrier? No, something a little smaller. A desk. <laughs> Oh, well, at least I came up to scratch once in my life. Thanks to you, Commander McHale. <laughs> and you, Miss Parker. Ah. Getting, uh, I'll save you, Cedric. That's my cousin Cedric. Uh, yes, sir. And that's my Ensign Parker. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. Oh, dear Commander McHale, I thought you chaps would be happy to know I've been promoted twice already. Hey, I'm uh, now in charge of testing new naval equipment. Oh, come on, Skip. That's not the same Cedric we knew. No, no, no. Wait a minute. They leave me alone with all new equipment for 24 hours. If it still works after that, it goes right in a cloud basket. <laughs> well, that's our secret. <laughs> Cheerio for now and tell all the lads to have a beer on me, as ever, Cliveden. <laughs> ah, you're talking, old sock, huh? I'm for that with yes. the beer in it. Yeah. Hey, food, front oh, center. <laughs> <laughs> 
The name is HJ2, chaps. Pip-pip and other sort of rot. 